We're going to introduce you to repeatserver.com and show you how to sign up for a free account online. Uh, now repeatserver.com is a free service that allows you to create and host RSS feeds free of charge which you can then use in either re repeat signage or on your website. Um, so we'll just start by creating a free account. So we click on this option. And the first thing it's going to do is ask you for an account name. Now I'm going to type in repeat training. And this is really important that you get the account name right for starting and you spell it correctly because your home address is going to be www.repeatserver forward slash users and then where it says my company here your account name is going to be appear here as well. So I'll just quickly fill in um, the organization details. Obviously you're going to fill in your own ones. And I'm in the United Kingdom. So that's our organization details and then it's asking for your details. Now you can actually have multiple users in a repeatserver.com account and that can be quite useful because if you've got like a organ large organization and you've got multiple RSS feeds etc then you can allocate different people to um, uh, administer different feeds which is quite helpful. So I'm just going to create a, a, a test user. So I'm just going to call this one Geo. Blogs. Job title, IT manager, email address. Now I've just created a, um, a test email address um, for this particular video. So I've got repeat training and repeat software.com. I'm just going to put in the password. Now what's going to happen when you first sign up for the account, it's going to email you a confirmation email. So you need to put in a valid address there. Um, and what you do have to do is to have to agree to our terms and conditions. Now, this service is completely free of charge, but you just need to agree to, uh, not to host illegal or pornographic content um, and to use it responsibly. And there's the terms of um, use and accessible use policy down here. So when we filled in all these um, details and click on create account. Uh, thank you, Joe. So what it's now doing is it's going to email me a confirmation email. So what I'm going to do is just pause this video a second and to receive that email on another computer um, and accept that, then I can show you how to actually log in. I've received the confirmation email and clicked on the confirmation link, so now my account's are activated. So I'll just show you how to log in. So now we choose the, the login option. And I'm going to put in the email address that I've used, which is repeat.training at repeatsoftware.com. Stick in my password and I'm going to click on the remember my email address button so next time I come to this login stage it's automatically going to fill in the email address for me and then click on login. And we start by on the main on the main page and you've got loads of different options on here. What I'm going to do for a start is I'm just going to show you um, the default RSS feed is created and then how you can actually use that on repeat signage or on your own website. So if I go to RSS feeds an RSS feed list. Uh, what it does by default is it creates you automatically a news feed. So I can look at this just by clicking on it. And this is actually my news feed, so um, repeat software news. Um, and it's just got a number of news items on here. Each of these is a separate news item. So um, repeat software creates new RSS feed. First news item from um, repeat so software. So you can add as many news items as you like. And this is the address of the RSS feed. Now, um, you can use this in repeat signage, but you can also use this on the website. I'll just give you an example of that. If I open up another browser window, and I go to our main site, which is repeatsoftware.com. Now if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see I've got all these social media links on here. And one of those is a link to our RSS feed. And that is actually hosted at repeatserver.com. So you can actually create a, an RSS feed and then link it directly to your website um, just by um, you know, adding an RSS picture icon, which you can grab from sort of most websites. Um, and then just put in the, the address. In this case, 
if I go back to our, um, my uh, repeatserver.com account, the address of the default newsfeed is going to be repeatserver.com users, repeat training, which is my account name, and then news.xml. Now I'll just quickly show you how you can actually edit this RSS feed. So I'm going to click on edit. And it defaults to the news items. You've also got this general tab at the front, which allows you to put in the, the file name, um, the title for your news feed, etc. Now all I'm going to do for a start is I'm going to delete some of these items that it's created automatically. So I'm just going to click on the delete option and OK. Delete, OK. OK, so I've just got these two items left. Now I'm going to add a new um, piece of news. And I'm just going to call it um, Joe is creating new training videos and I'm going to put in a summary um, uh, this week Joe has created videos on how to use repeatserver.com now link um, URL now if you're publishing an RSS feed for your website, now every piece of news item, you're going to want to link that to a page on your website with more information on that particular um, news item. So we can actually put in a URL there of that. I'll just give you an example of that. So if we switch back to our repeat signage, we've actually got a news page. So I'm just going to copy that address. So right mouse click and copy switch back here and I'm just going to paste that in. So I can actually allocate a, um, a page about the news to each item. So I'm going to click on the add button. Now if you're using repeat sign it's just to display news items then you don't actually need to um, put in this address. So that's actually optional if you're just using it with repeat signage. So okay what I've, I've now got is I've amended my RSS feed and now I've got three items of news. And I'm going to click on save. Now, at the moment, that doesn't actually change until I use the publish button. And the idea behind that is, is that you can go in, add and delete things, etc., and then publish it when, you, when you're ready and you're happy. Um, also, because this is a multi-user system, you could actually get other people to, um, to put in news items for you, but you could be the uh, one responsible for publishing. Um, so if I click on publish, what happens is the last publish time changes there, and that's um, in UK data settings. Um, and my news feed has been published OK to here. And now you can see that this page has changed. This, um, uh, Joey's creating new training videos. Also, if you click on that, it's going to take me to that page I put in, that news page. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you quickly how to use this in repeat signage. We'll just give you a really quick overview. So I'm going to switch to repeat signage, presentations, create new presentation. And I'm going to get to the menu and click on Insert, Flash RSS Reader. Now it's asking me for a website address. So I'm just going to swap back to my, my, my service here. And I'm just going to copy that entire address. Right mouse click, copy. Switch back again. So that's my, um, my newsfeed address. Click on OK. And repeat signage automatically downs that and starts playing it and scrolls it across the screen. Now, by default, it's only actually displaying the title of each of the news items. So, if I just pop um, back to here, so you can actually see the, the actual news items Joe is creating. So, that's the first, that's a heading, and then that's a description down here. Um, so there's actually two styles of RSS reader, this um, RSS scroller 1 and RSS scroller 2. Now the second style is a bit nicer, so I'm going to click on OK on that. And what that does is it displays the heading and then displays the actual description for the news item afterwards. So Joe is creating new training videos, this week Joe has, which is coming directly from your, your news feed. Now if I double click on this news feed, and I go to the refresh tab, 
what's happening is repeat signage will actually check every 15 minutes to see if there's a new version of that online. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that back down to zero and I'm going to change this five seconds just simply for this demonstration and click on OK. So there's my RSS news feed, but repeat server in the uh, repeat signage in the background is now checking every five seconds to see if this news uh, feed has changed at repeatserver.com. So I'm just going to show you that. So I'm going to edit my um, news feed, and I'm going to change that first item. Click on the edit button, and all I'm going to do is um, put Joe has been fired for creating bad videos and the summary is Joe has now gone. Not very nice. I click on update. Okay so I've changed that particular news item. I'm going to save again. Now nothing has happened yet and if I just swap back to repeat signage we've still got the original one playing and that's because I haven't published it yet. So when I click on publish, that has been updated. And if we just click on the, the thingy, you can see Joe has now been fired. And if we swap back to repeat signage, we just missed it, but um, the new news item is actually playing. So we just wait for the first item to come around, Joe has been fired. So that training video is just a quick demonstration of how to sign up for a, a new repeat server.com account. Um, how to um, edit the default news feed and then again how to use it in repeat um, signage to display news for your particular organisation.